songwriting secrets of Hollywood songwriters. Number one, having a strong hook, like a lyrical hook, a hook in your riff. We live in an attention-based economy, right? We need to grab the listener at the throat. They need something that they really like. For example, title, like Sympathy for the Devil, or something that's catchy, like Radioactive. You need the listener to click on your song, and then you need another hook to continue listening. You cannot just waste one minute of their time with some instrumental shit, unless it's Master of Puppets, of course. Think about Back in Black, right? It starts with... Super catch riff. Also, Van Sevenfold. He who makes a beast out of himself gets rid of the pain of being a man. How cool that is. Your title in the first few seconds of the song. It's like judging a book by its cover. If they don't like it, they're not gonna waste their time listening to your song. So get a strong hook. Number two, writing a short summary. Once you have your song structure, so let's say you have a verse and then a chorus and a verse and a chorus and then maybe you have another bridge. You want a brief one sentence description of what you want this section to be about. So you're not gonna switch up things and the storytelling is gonna be very easy to understand. For example, in my case, a song that I've written about freedom is number one, that how I not like being here. And then the chorus is about thinking of a place where I wanna be. And then the second verse is about already being there. A short description is just gonna help you keeping track where you're going with the song. Number three, show me, don't tell me. If you're writing a song, meaning instead of saying, oh, I'm so sad, some chick just left me and I haven't eaten for three hours already instead you can say the sky is gray i'm wearing black today the house is empty everything is you know it's dead silence paint a picture let them feel your pain or your joy or your excitement whatever it just gives a more colorful experience to the listener as well and also having some vagueness in your songs but not being too straightforward so they can keep guessing is it about addiction is it about love it's good when fans just keep guessing and they keep talking about it number four going from beat to melodies from lyrics you can come up with a lot of exciting melodies on top of a chord progression and you can choose a vocal melodies whichever you prefer and then you can fit the lyrics to that oh. and not only you have a lot of exciting vocal melodies but the lyrics will perfectly fit the song as well and on top of that it's the easiest songwriting method i know super simple number five is a 15 second intro and a 40 second chorus because a lot of gatekeepers at record labels are just gonna trash your song doesn't matter if it's a masterpiece they're gonna trash it if the intro is longer than 15 seconds and if there's no pre-chorus or chorus until the 40 second mark that's just because the attention span should shorter than ever and also the chorus is the earworm most of the time so you want to get to the chorus as fast as possible and just hook the listener into the song once again to me songwriting is more about i don't think about what the people want i usually just create art maybe later on i will okay this might be a banger in the arena or crowd favorite but for now i'm just writing whatever is inside although if you're writing for uh, commercial stuff or you want to be in the radio this is something that you 100 percent want to pay attention to number six is repetition to get a melody stuck in their head if you think about da da shake 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 or i don't know how way to hell there's also like an a a a b breakout so you repeat something three times and then you break out of that so like a da 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 Da, 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 da. It's more memorable and it's harder to get the song out of your head. So that's a great strategy as well. Implementing something like that in the verse or in the pre-chorus. Perfect idea. Now, number seven is having contrast. Can't stress this enough. You don't want your song to be monotonous, right? To just be like all along. Sometimes you want to change the drum beat. Sometimes you want to take back a little distortion and go on to something more acoustic. And then when the chorus comes, jump into the distortion and then maybe the high vocals add some distortion to to the vocals as well and some rasp there maybe some synthesizers as an extra and you want contrast because it just creates a surprising effect especially it's very important if the chorus is super catchy like one of my favorite examples for this is time is running out by muse first time i was listening to that song i was like okay not bad it's pretty nice and then it goes into the and then it's like okay this is a pretty nice song and then it goes into the chorus and then i'm like blown away super crazy my new fucking favorite song number eight is creating tension and using silence just think about like every single dubstep that you hear in clubs and it goes like dun 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 drop the bass it creates this tension that you're about to explode and then you can release and you want the same thing with your music you can do that with a fast soul like that's my air guitar you can do like slowing down with palm muted power chords like Pantera, domination. And also, silence is just as powerful as entering a catchy chorus or a crazy guitar solo. Because this is in between that creates the anticipation. Suddenly, stops. Stop. Wait a minute. Uptown Funk. Mozart said that music is not in the notes, but in the silence in between. Number nine is keeping it simple. Complex is great. Think of Dream Theater. It's great, amazing. I love that band. But when I just think about the Stones, I can get no satisfaction. To me, it's so much more than Metropolis Part 2. I appreciate all the fast solos and everything, but 
dude, make me feel. I know you can shred, but it's not about showing what you can do, but doing what the song requires you to do. Although if the song requires you to shred at 220 BPM across the pentatonic scale, then do so. But when the song requires you to do a nice melodic solo, don't start shredding like a fucking idiot. It's super annoying and also sounds amateur. Just imagine when a guitarist first heard a wall riff by Pantera. I remember, I think Scottian said in an interview, how did I not come up with that riff? It's so simple. Do, 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 do. Number 10 is making it relatable, sharing vulnerability, showing that side to people that you are just like them so they can relate to you and they can feel like you're just like them. So they're gonna connect more and it's also easier to build fans in that way, in my opinion. Also writing songs about relatable stories such as freedom, death, love, disappointment. The reason that I don't really like rap is because 90% of rap songs is about, oh, I fucked that bitch. I got this much money. I mean, bro, no one gives a fuck about your golden teeth. <laughs> so if you want to join me for a free class today, go check out my page. Till next time.